Marty of Tika Beauty and I'm here to show you all the new spring colors that are coming out and Danielle's our model so let's get started. So we've already prepped Danielle's skin with the mineral sheer tint, the mineral illuminator under her eye and the botanical shadow primer. So now I'm going to do a little bit of the shadows and these are again the shadows that came out for spring. Right here I'm using a color called Antique White. And actually, Antique White has been around for a little bit, but, you know, it's just the base for the eye. And now I'm going to use, right here, it's a golden color, and it's uh, called Glimmer. That goes right here. And now I'm going to pop a little bit of these new browns right here to kind of smoke out her eye. Here we go. There you go. Here's one eye against the other. And now we're going to do her brows. She doesn't have a lot of darkness here and we need to frame her face. So we're going to do her brow with the brush on brow and the color is called Soft Smoke. I'm going to show you the difference between one brow and the other. As soon as this is done, all of a sudden her, fra her face will be framed. Here we go. Danielle has got a beautiful face anyway, so we're just really trying to enhance her own natural beauty here. Okay, there you go. Look at one brow against the other. We're going to do a little bit of liner, and the liner that I have chosen is called Voyage, and it's a blue. Just kind of stipple it on right above her lash line. This is a really pretty color for spring and brand, brand new. And this is one of the gel pencils. So it goes on very, very smooth and it actually lasts all day. Okay, give her a little bit of a cat eye here at the end. And then I'm also going to do the underneath. Look up for me. There you go. That looks great. Danielle, close your eyes. Cat it a little bit more here at the end. You really don't want to see where it starts and where it ends. So go back and do that corner. Open up and get it to match right there. There you go. Now I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of blush on Danielle. This is actually called Nectar. It's a brand new color, also for spring. And do your blush, you know, pat it on. Again, I use the word stipple a lot, and this is what I mean by stippling, whether you do it with a pencil, you know, for your eyes or with your cheeks. Just stipple up. Everything you want to do in an upward motion. You do this here, and you just... This Nectar is a baked blush. It doesn't go into the crevices. It's absolutely awesome and it's a beautiful, beautiful color. Um, smile for me. Okay, so you want to get that ball right there. There you go. And blush sometimes you have to reapply. If you have foundation on, like Danielle does, sometimes the blush is absorbed. Within the first 15 minutes you look at yourself and reapply a little bit of blush again. Okay, so now we're ready to finish the look and do her lips and I'm going to line them with guava the lip liner again this is a gel liner so this is a really good liner because it stays on and open your lips a little bit okay just very naturally there you go and I'm going to fill her lips what you do the trick with lipstick to get it to stay on for longer is to line the lips and then Fill them in. Fill them in with that lip liner. The more you have on your lips, the longer the lipstick's going to last. So you're going to fill in with lip liner and then you're going to put the lipstick on. So you're going to get a double whammy right there. And then if you wanted to, you could gloss the lips also if you wanted a little bit of a wet look. And um, that would even make everything last a little bit longer. Okay, so this color right here, let me look because it's brand new. It's called Dragon Fruit. This is really pretty on Danielle because she's a pink girl. 
So this is a real nice bright pink for spring and summer. There's some really pretty pinks and oranges coming out for this. You know, as they say, orange is the new black. Okay, there you go. Smile for us. Beautiful! Thanks again for watching us and we'll see you next week.